Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm going to be making a faux glass mosaic card using honey medium and gelatos. The honey medium comes clear and we're going to turn it into the rainbow with these tools and some gelatos. Now the silicone mat here and the silicone spatula, they come in the honey medium kit and the gelatos that I'm using are from the Bright Collection. So I'm going to slice off a piece of color from the gelatos and then I'm going to bring in some of the honey medium. You can see that it's clear in the jar so we can turn it into whatever color we want it to be. I'm going to be making sheets of this stuff. When it's all dry I'll have sheets in every color of the rainbow, well those five colors of gelatos that are there. Now what you're seeing me do right now is break apart the piece that I sort of sliced off. It was one solid piece and it's easier to mix in if you have smaller pieces. Now since I had the silicone spatula in my hand, I started using that to mix them together. But it's got this wonderful flexible end to it, which wasn't exactly what I needed for this. I needed something a little firmer, so the metal spatula worked wonderfully. Now if I want to add more pigment or color to this, all I'm going to do is grab that gelatos and add some more color that way. Now if you use the big disc of it like what I had there, you'll see that it gets sometimes a little slippery. That little guy just kind of ran away there. When I'm using the metal spatula to mix these together, I have a little more pressure so that I can push it together very much like when making a pie crust and you have to get the butter and flour to go together. So for me, the metal spatula made it go a little bit faster to get the color all mixed in. And how much of the honey medium I want to mix up, how much of this wonderful pink color that I want, depends on how much medium I add from the jar. So if I think I want a little bit more, then I just add some more honey medium from the jar until I have the amount that I want. And then I spread it approximately evenly over about half of the tray here. Then I go on to the next color. Now I'll show you another way that you can do the color when you're using the gelatos. Before you saw me just cut off one round disc of it, this time I'm going to do more of a shaving. So I'm just doing little hunks, chunks, little bits there, shaving off pieces. What that means is I'm going to have smaller pieces to mix in. Is that going to make a difference from how I did it for the pink? And the answer is maybe. Because it depends how much I want to mix things in or what kind of look that I want. So the smaller the pieces that you use, a little bit easier to mix it all in if you want it completely mixed. I actually like having little remnants of the gelatos in there because they will show up when the honey medium is completely dry. So you'll get some areas that are a little bit darker. I love that variation, so I prefer doing it the way I did it with the pink because it gives me that a little more easily. The way I'm doing it here with the orange is if you want a more mixed in, a more complete look to it, then you may want to try doing some shavings of it as you're making the colors of honey medium. So once I've got all the orange that I want to create, I'm just going to spread it around nice and evenly and anywhere that the orange and the pink are touching, they're actually going to be fused together. This is not going to be two separate things. Wherever they're touching, it will actually be one solid piece. Now, I've given it time to completely dry and for me, I just leave it overnight and come back to the next day. Then I peel it off the silicone mat and this is where the silicone mat is so very handy because it, well, peels right up off of it. I did the same procedure for the other three colors, the blue, the yellow, and the green. And I'll bet you can figure out which of these colors I did together and which one was done by itself. Yep, the blue and the green, they're fused together just a little bit. That's because they were in the same tray and that's where they were touching. The yellow, I did all by itself. Now these sheets of honey are very, very flexible. They're very easy to cut, so they are very easy to work with. The one thing that you don't want to do is leave them stacked on top of each other because they will end up sticking to each other when you least expect it. So that's why you'll see that for the most part, I'm keeping them not on top of each other. Then I'm just going to cut a bunch of random shapes out of these things and start building a mosaic card. One of the things that I really like about playing with the honey is because there's dimension to it and there is such a wonderful shine that it looks like pieces of glass. It's got an awesome texture in it just from how it dried on that silicone mat from just being spread around and I'm just putting the shapes on the card giving me an idea of where they might go and then cutting shapes to approximately fit in different areas. Anytime I can use some of the little shavings or bits around there to fill in a spot, I'm going to use those. The card's completely filled now with the mosaic, but nothing is glued down yet. I've just kind of gotten the position to make sure I've got things that'll fill in the card. And as I looked at it, I realized I want to do something more to the yellow pieces. 
Now the honey medium is translucent, so you can see through it. So when I put a little bit of the honey medium on the back of this and stick it onto a piece of book text, you'll be able to see the words through it. And then all I need to do is cut that shape out of the book text and then put it back into the mosaic where it was. Now, if I had thought this through completely perfectly ahead of time and this was a clear and calculated plan, then I would have probably put the big sheet of yellow right onto a piece of book text and cut it all out at once. But since I didn't think of it until after that, no big deal. I'm just going to glue each piece onto book text, do this to them, and then put it back in its spot in the collage. All the yellow pieces now have some words underneath it, thanks to being attached to some book text. The last step is to start gluing each one of the pieces on. And the silicone spatula is extremely handy for this. I'm just going to put some honey medium on there and glue each piece down. When I've got them all glued down, then there's just one last thing to do. I'm going to trim up the edges with a pair of scissors once everything is completely dry. And here's what the card looks like, all done, all that wonderful, shiny, glassy texture in there. And then you can see the words underneath the yellow pieces. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play with Honey Medium and Gelatos.